and fourth graders. We're back to read our chapter book, Walk Two Moons, and we are now to chapter 27. And we last talked about sacrifices. I mean, and Phoebe was saying that friends are supposed to make sacrifices for one another, and her mom was making a sacrifice by not being with them. And Sal was getting very frustrated with her, and their friendship's kind of going through a little rough patch right now because they're both in pain and grief, and they don't know, um, they don't, Phoebe doesn't know that Sal's going through the same thing, but um, they are just not being very nice friends to one another, and they are both going through a lot. So, this chapter is called Pandora's Box, and remember, we've mentioned Pandora before. Do you remember? that Ben was doing his mythology report about Zeus and um, Prometheus, the, and the gods, and, the, and he brought Pandora, the woman, to Zeus. Okay, so I think it was that, something like that. So maybe they'll, since the name of the chapter is Pandora's Box, we might find out some more about that. <clears throat> the next day, as I was helping Phoebe lug her suitcase home, because you know she brought a ton, because the um, Sal said, are you going to stay here a whole month? I said, Phoebe, I know you've been upset lately. I have not been upset lately, she said. Sometimes, Phoebe, I like you a lot. Why, thank you. But sometimes, Phoebe, I feel like dumping your cholesterol-free body out the window. She did not have a chance to respond because we were going to we were already at her house and she was more interested in questioning her father with lots of questions. Any news? Did mom come back? Did she call? Well, sorta, he said. She phoned Miss Cadaver. Miss Cadaver? Whatever for? Why would she Phoebe, calm down. I don't know why she phoned Miss Cadaver. I haven't been able to speak to Miss Cadaver myself yet. She isn't home. She left a note here. He showed it to Phoebe. Norma called to say she is okay. Beneath Miss Cadaver's signature was P.S. Saying that Miss Cadaver would be away until Monday. I don't believe that Mom called Miss Cadaver. Miss Cadaver is making that up. Miss Cadaver probably killed her and chopped her up and I'm calling the police. They had a huge argument. Oh. But at last, Phoebe fizzled out, and her father said he had been calling everyone he could think of to see if her mother had indicated where she might be going. He would continue calling tomorrow, and he promised he would speak with Miss Cadaver. If he did not receive a letter or a direct phone call from her mother, by Wednesday, he would call the police. Phoebe came out on the porch with me as I was leaving. She said, I've made a decision. I'm going to call the police. I might even go to the police station. I don't want to wait until Wednesday. I can go whenever I want. That night, she phoned me. She was whispering again. It seems so quiet here. I don't know what is the matter with me. I was laying on my bed and I can't sleep. My bed's too hard. <laughs> Do you remember the last chapter when she told uh, Sal that her bed was way too soft that she needed a firm bed to give her a good posture. <laughs> now she's saying hers is too hard. On Monday, Phoebe gave her oral report on Pandora. She began in a quivering voice. For, for some reason, Ben already talked about my, my topic, Pandora, when he did his report on Prometheus. However, Ben made a few little mistakes about Pandora. Everyone turned around and stared at Ben. I did not, he said. Uh, yes, you did. Phoebe's lip trembled. Pandora was not sent to man as punishment, but as a reward. Was not, Ben said. Was too, Phoebe said. Zeus decided to give man a present, since man seemed lonely down here on earth. With only the animals to keep him company. So Zeus made a sweet and beautiful woman. And then Zeus invited all the gods to dinner. It was a very civilized dinner. With magic plates. Mary Lou and Ben exchanged an eyebrow message. They knew she was talking about their plates. And how they were so mismatched at, her, at Mary Lou's house. Zeus asked the gods to give the woman presents. To get, make her feel like a welcome guest. 
Phoebe glanced at me. That gave her wonderful things. They gave her wonderful things. A fancy shawl, a silver dress, beauty. Mm. Ben interrupted. I thought you said she was already beautiful. Well, they gave her even more beauty. Aren't you satisfied? Her lip was no longer trembling and she was blushing. Mm. The gods also gave her the ability to sing and the power of persuasion and a gold crown and flowers and many truly wonderful things such as that. Because of all these gifts, Zeus named her Pandora, which means the gift of all. Phoebe was getting into it. There were two other gifts that I have not mentioned yet. One of them was curiosity. That is why all women are curious, by the way, because it was a gift given to the first woman. Ben said, I wish she had been given the gift of silence. Last, there was a beautiful box. It was covered with gold and jewels. And this is a very important, well, she was forbidden to open the box. Then why didn't they give it to her? Ben said. He was beginning to irritate Phoebe. Phoebe, <laughs> you could tell. She said, that's what I'm telling you. It was a present. But why did they give her a present that she couldn't open? I do not know. It was, it's just in part of the story. <sighs> now, as I was saying, Pandora was not supposed to open the box, but because she had been given so much curiosity, she really, really, really wanted to know what was inside. So one day, she opened the box. I knew it, Ben said. I knew she was going to open that box the minute you said she was not supposed to open it. <laughs> inside the box were all the evils of the world, such as hatred and envy and plagues and sickness and cholesterol. <laughs> there was also brain tumors and sadness, lunatics and kidnappers and murderers. <laughs> she glanced at Mr. Berkway before rushing on and all that kind of thing. Pandora tried to close the lid when she saw the horrible things that were coming out of it, but she could not get it closed and that is why there are so many evils in this world. There was only one good thing in this box. Well, what was that? Ben asked. As I was about to explain, the only good thing in the box was hope. And that is why even though there are so many evils in the world, there is still a little hope. She held up a picture of Pandora opening up the box and a whole shebang of gremlins floating out. And Pandora looked frightened. <gasps> that night I kept thinking about Pandora's box and I wondered why someone would put a good thing such as hope in a box with all that sickness and kidnapping and murder. It was fortunate that it was there though. If not, people would have the birds of sadness nesting in their hair all the time because of nuclear war and the greenhouse effect and bombs and stabbings and lunatics. Now, what does this remind you of? So we know Zeus and um, Prometheus and Pandora, all this is not true, this is mythology. So, but is the story very similar to another true story, which is what? Adam and Eve and God gave a man a woman and then she, they had the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and she ate of that fruit on the tree that she wasn't supposed to and then all the evil came into the world. So this is a, it's very similar to a very true story in our Bible, in the Bible. <clears throat> so there must have been another box with all the good things in it like sunshine and love and trees and you know all that. Who had the good fortune to open that one? And was there one bad thing, one bad thing down there in the bottom of the good box? You know, like in the bad box, there was one good thing of hope. Is there something bad down there? Hmm. Maybe it was worry. Even when everything seems fine and good, I worry that something will go wrong and change everything. My mother, my father, and I all seemed fine and happy at our house until the baby died. 
could you actually say that the baby died since it never even breathed? Did its birth and death occur at the same moment? Could you die before you were born? Phoebe's family had not seemed fine, even before the arrival of the lunatic and the messages and the disappearance of Mrs. Winterbottom. I knew that Phoebe was convinced that her mother was kidnapped because it was impossible for Phoebe to imagine that her mother would leave for any other reason. I wanted to call Phoebe and say that maybe her mother had gone looking for something and maybe her mother was unhappy and maybe there was nothing Phoebe could do about it. When I told this part to Grandma Gramps, Gramps said, you mean it had nothing to do with Phoebe? They both looked at each other, but they didn't say anything. But there was something in that look that suggested I had just said something important. For the first time, it occurred to me that maybe my mother's leaving had nothing whatsoever to do with me. It was separate. It was apart. We couldn't own our mothers. On that night after Phoebe had gone, given her Pandora report, I thought about the hope in Pandora's box. Maybe when everything seemed sad and miserable, Phoebe and I could both hope that something might start going right. So instead of worrying about all the, about the good box and all those good things and the one bad thing that's gonna happen and being worried, worried, worried about that, instead put your attention on hope and have that hope that something good's gonna go happen, something good will happen. and. They have been trying to tell Sal all this time that, you know, Sal, it wasn't your fault that your mom left. It wasn't your fault. You're, but she wouldn't believe them. But now, watching Phoebe go through this, she wanted to tell Phoebe, you couldn't do anything. It's not your fault. And your mom left, but you couldn't have changed that. And then the, her grandparents was like, really? You've noticed that? And then it hit her. <gasps> That's the same thing they've been trying to tell me. So this is really good for Sal to kind of see what Phoebe's going through, even though it's very sad for her too. But hopefully having that hope that Phoebe's mom will come back would be very good for her. Um, and then we'll read chapter 28 tomorrow. It's called The Black Heels. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.